Welcome everyone to Weekend Escapades. Today we are visiting the final resting place of Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid was born in 1859 in the Irish slums of New York City. Now Billy's mom was suffering from tuberculosis and moved them to New Mexico for the dry desert heat to think that that was a cure. Billy's mom died in 1874, leaving him an orphan. Living in foster homes and boarding houses, it wasn't long before Billy fell into a rough crowd and turned a petty crime. One of the most notorious gunfighters of the American West, reputed to have killed at least 27 men before being gunned down at an age of about 21. And on July 14, 1881, in Fort Sumner, Pat Garrett put a bullet in Billy the Kid and put his life to an end. It is said that Billy the Kid was the most misunderstood historical figure of the Old West. After doing some reading and research, it is said that Billy the Kid was not a cold-blooded killer nor a robber of trains or banks. Instead, he was a gunfighter in a feud between two factions in which both sides stole from each other and killed. The Lincoln County War would have turned out exactly the way it did if Billy the Kid never took part in it. His role in the Lincoln County War was minor. He wasn't a leader, but a follower. Although Billy the Kid was one of the many who fought and killed during the Lincoln County War, he was the only one that faced conviction and was sentenced to death. Now be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so we can keep these videos coming. Billy the Kid lives on in history and legend due to the fact that his death was controversial, the final dramatic ending to his story. One of my favorite stories about Billy the Kid was the story of Joe Texas Red Grant, who was a bounty hunter. He had been long boasting to everyone that he was going to become famous by being the one that killed Billy the Kid. Billy, having heard this, approached Joe in the street. Joe did not recognize him, and Billy made an impression that he was impressed and interested in Joe. He even convinced Joe to hand over his gun so he could take a look at it and admire the six-shooter. While Joe wasn't looking, Billy removed three bullets from his pistol, and making sure it was lined up to the first empty chamber, handed it back to Joe. Billy then told Joe that he was Billy the Kid. The Kid and Joe both reached for their guns, and only Billy's fired because Joe had an empty chamber. And now old Texas Red lie dead in the street and now lies in the cemetery here with Billy. And as it says on this headstone, Joe Grant, Texas Red, shot dead. 1880, January 10th, by Billy the Kid. Now Billy's gang was called the Rustlers and he is buried here in this location with Charlie Bowdry and Tom O'Fallard. Those were his pals, as it says here on the headstone. Now this small headstone you'll see on the right inside this cage is put at the foot of Billy's grave. Now this was stolen in 1951 and was not found until 1976. It was returned and then it was stolen again in 1981 and recovered four days later. They set the tombstone in iron and inside this cage so it can never be stole again. The story of Billy the Kid is quite fascinating. He did so much in his short life and it sounds like it was a violent and turbulent lifestyle. We hope you enjoyed our adventure to New Mexico and Billy the Kid's final resting place and until our next adventure, goodbye from Weekend Escapades.